guys, how y'all doing? Windows, an operating system that was considered one of the best back in the early 2000s. But one thing though, slow success, bold character, and fast success, bold ego. And that's exactly what happened with Microsoft. As the years passed, its value in the market started going up to the roof. Microsoft felt like God, and thought that all their products will be a part of every house in the world. Just like Windows 95, or Windows XP for example. But bro, Windows is the best, says who? Says me, mother we need to talk. About what? Just come over here. Why? Just for a short conversation. You sure? 100%. Alright, alright. Excuse me guys, just for one minute. Alright, I'm back. In 2015, the legendary Windows 10 was released. And that's when people started noticing stuff. A lot of Windows users back then didn't really care. But on the other side, there was a lot of people that saw that those extra thingies in the settings weren't there for no reason. And the ads showing up in your source menu weren't just any random ads, but based on what you like and what you don't like. Here where the puzzle starts to solve in itself. Personalized ads, too many privacy options that doesn't make sense, Windows 10 feeling slow, there must be something. And yes, there was something. Windows Telemetry, the big boss of this game, refers to the system ability to collect and transmit diagnostic and usage data to Microsoft. Bullshit, alright? Bullshit. It's collect data to get sold later on. Change my mind. But hey, that's not only my opinion, but it's the reality. Microsoft starts to collect some data science Windows XP, or maybe even Windows 95 or 98. But back then, it wasn't noticeable enough for the regular user of Windows XP, for example. But 25 years later, it's clear like Microsoft, you think we're blind? Now let's talk about how bad is Windows Telemetry. Starting with your resources. Windows Telemetry, or what I call the spy, constantly uses your RAM and CPU in order to keep an eye on your data and of course, collect it. To the point where it can use up to 90% of your CPU. Are you kidding me, Microsoft? But bro, even with 90% CPU, it's still the best operating system ever made. Ah, you don't learn from your mistake, do you? Sorry, sorry, never again. So, long story short. Windows Telemetry makes your experience the worst instead of improving it. And if you're a gamer, for example, you will notice that your PC is not reaching its potential, no matter what GPU or CPU you're using. But wait, can you turn Windows Telemetry off? Good question. And the answer is yes and no. In both Windows 10 and 11, Microsoft left some room for you to mess around and turn off some settings that are related to that Windows Telemetry thingy. But in the same time, in order to get your freedom back, or at least some of it, you gotta install some external tools. Not gonna recommend any, but you can Google it yourself. The thing is, you cannot turn this completely off, because Microsoft integrated Windows telemetry so deep into the kernel. So by turning off that bullshit 100%, you might end up breaking Windows. The only way to get rid of it is by cutting off any connection to Windows. Yes, it sounds silly, but you gotta know it's Microsoft that's made Windows, and not Linus Torvald. As a conclusion, if you use Windows, as your main operating system in 2025, notice your data is in danger. You're in danger. Your little dog is in danger. Even your neighbors are in danger. Am I in danger as well? No, Microsoft doesn't care about people like you. Why? Because you're stupid. Get the hell out of here. Anyways, leave a like. Bye-bye.